they're tough little guys though. Like it would be so much easier in a full size kitchen guys, but those are looking really good too. I got this new fishing reel that I picked up a while ago. I just put it on my little rod. So I'm gonna spool that up. And this one's perfect size. Plus this one is set up to be uh, a little bit better off if I'm gonna expose it to salt water. So, guys, if you're looking for a good braided line, this power pro stuff is really nice. I, uh, I really like it. It is good, good stuff. So, that's perfect. Ready to go. Uh, next up is, I got that salmon roe and I need to do something with it. So I'm gonna try to make caviar. Kind of looked up a recipe online and I found one that looks reasonably simple. So I'll share that. I'll just put that down in the description. Hopefully it's still okay. It's been in my fridge now for, this will be the third day. So we'll see. I've got this um, stainless bowl with a strainer and they nest together. And then there's also this cheese grater lid. Uh, I might've used that one time, but I don't know. Anyway, it, it handy little thing to have in the van. So um, I got this mostly so I could like wash veggies and stuff like that, that I pick and forage for. But today I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be just fine for this uh, little caviar deal. So I'm just gonna give it a rinse with some water and uh, it should be good to go after that. So it calls for warm water. So I'm just gonna get some of that going here. Uh, jump well. Get out this caviar. There it is, there's a fish row. Get a little smell test here. Still smells really fishy, but fishy. So I think it's I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so basically the recipe calls for um, to put this stuff in warm water and break apart this like little sack that it's sitting in. There's actually two of them in there. Um, and so I'm just gonna, it's called the skine. You gotta take that out. And then I guess there's a bunch of connective tissue in there that holds it all together. Um, and you kind of have to like separate that from the eggs themselves and then sift that all off. So you're just left with the eggs. So I'm gonna get going on that. And the warm water is gonna change the color of the eggs. So it'll make them more opaque. Uh, they're already looking a little opaque and I don't know if that's because they've been sitting in the fridge for a few days, but we're going to give this a try. Apparently they're high in omega-3 fats, which is amazing. It's a nice way to supplement it in there and use this part of the fish. Uh, I think that's... I'm going to call that warm enough there. This one's kind of torn open a bit, so that's what I want. See how it's like, there's the, the tissue there. Oh, that's cool. They're connected this way. I was like, I try and do this one at a time. I'm, I'll probably find a faster way of doing this. I'm getting a, like, um, I'm actually strangely enough getting really interested in trying this out. Um, I've been, like when I go to sushi restaurants, one of the things I'd order would be like a, something called an Ikura. 
uh, which is a bunch of salmon roe that's on a little bit of rice and uh, I just I really like that and uh, so I don't know this is uh, kind of reminding me a little bit of that and uh, I'm really curious how this is gonna f like flavor and taste and all that It also reminds me a little bit of um, like when you eat an orange and you got like all those little juice pods in there. Each one of these little eggs is kind of like a little juice pod. Kind of neat. They're tough little guys though. They, they, they're coming out of here just fine. I'm about halfway through the first um, like bit. Halfway through that. hoping it really turns out and it tastes good because it's just I don't know it's just fascinating it's really cool and buying this stuff like I was in a store and I uh, I saw a jar of this stuff and I, it was 25 bucks and here it is right here and uh, <laughs> I was like okay 25 bucks and I'm like okay well it's kind of worth it now because when you think of it you gotta buy the gear, you gotta get yourself out there, go fishing, catch one of these things, and then do what I'm doing now. And after all that, it's, it's like, wow, there's a lot of time and money just put into all this effort. And so, like, I feel like I kind of have to value the experiential side of it and appreciate it for that. And, um, well, it's gonna be super fresh. Hopefully, hopefully three days in the fridge is not bad for this kind of thing. So I'm thinking it's gonna be fine. Man, my, my hands are getting all pruned. All gross. Some of it just splashed up into my face. <laughs> okay, there's, there's one of the skines there. That's all that weird tissue that, that they were all wrapped up in. And not much more than a teaspoon worth of stuff. You know, doing this kind of thing, I just kind of can't help but think about babies. Baby fish, baby people, baby animals, all that kind of thing. It's like each one of these things could become, you know, it has the potential to become an animal. But yeah, it's, Fascinating, man. This is a part of life that's really, really kind of neat. Surprisingly, they have like quite a bit of durability to them. Um, so they seem to be stronger than the sack that's holding them. And that might have something to do with the time of year and all that sort of stuff. I have no idea, but. I am able to kind of wiggle them out of there. I just have a call coming in with my daughter. So we'll see you in a second. Hi. Hey, hey hon. Hello. I'm not gonna hang up unless you recover, okay? Do you need some time to yourself? We just hit a ride. Oh yeah. Some time? Do you wanna show dad your dress? You got it, honey. Whoa, that's a nice dress. Look at that. Let's Did you see. call Grandma and eat half of the cake? <gasps> Where'd it go? She used to go right underneath it, and now she keeps hitting your head. Okay. I mean too big. <laughs> it means you grew, um, and she's right there. You're growing, honey. You're growing. Yeah. Okay, that was cool. I had a about an hour long call with my daughter came through in that time and we did a bunch of things on the phone together. Eventually she started doing some coloring and when she does that she's pretty absorbed in what she's doing and there's not a lot of eye contact or conversation. And when she was coloring I kind of sifted through all the little bits. So um, I just basically used that little strainer that I got there and uh, got the clean bro right here. 
I think I'm just gonna rinse this through one more time, make sure it's nice and clean, and then I'm gonna make the brine for it that's gotta go into it next, so. There we go. Got that squared away. And, uh... Hmm. Oh God, I just realized I might not have any salt. Got some salt. <laughs> okay, I got some salt. I got some real sea salt. I was worried there. I was like, oh god. Okay. Okay, so basically it's calling for three cups of water to a half a cup of salt. So I might do a little bit, slightly different solution since I don't have a measuring cup. I feel like I'm gonna be putting the eggs in here anyway when they're all done, so. Give this a little wipe out. It's tapered, so it's not exact, but we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to make that work for us. So I'm gonna go up to this line and I'm gonna call that half. Uh, it does get wider at the top, so it's close enough. And then we'll do water. So we'll call that, we'll call that one. And I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. I'm just gonna put the third one directly in there with the salt. This is totally a process doing this in a van. Like it would be so much easier in a full-size kitchen, guys, but uh, I live in a van, so I'm improvising and I'm doing it this way. You can do this at home too, you know? I'll just get this on the boil, or like not quite boil, but you know, get it warm. Uh, a fork would be fine. It's quite a process. It's late in the day. I am. This definitely started a while ago and it's taken a while, but uh, I'm still excited about it. And it's not just for content, you guys. I just, I just really was excited when I saw that it was female. I had these egg pouches in it and I was just like, that would be an interesting thing to try out. Um, so that that's that's all this is for, and it's fun to share it, so I'm sharing it. And I'm struggling to do this in my van, but I'm doing it in my van. Quite successfully, my, my dad, quite successfully. So that's probably warm enough. And this is that new headlight assembly I got, guys. That's what's in the cardboard box. So the other one is up at the shop space, and uh, a little later we'll, we'll, we'll switch that out. But I, uh, I think it's ready, guys. I'll take this, and we'll just drop that in there. And oh, we got to set a timer. Three minutes. Three minutes. changing color back to what they used to look like. Hmm. Okay, that's three minutes. Those are looking really good too. Put over top of that one. Set that up there. 
transfer the salmon curvier to paper towel to absorb the extra liquid, then transfer to a glass jar and refrigerate. All right, paper towel. That's what we're doing. Paper towel. We'll try doing a little bit at a time. Last little bit, add it in there. Wicked. Now if that doesn't look like amazing, like I'm impressed man. That they came together they all took their shape back because some of them were like looking a little wilted after that process but they're plump and they are looking really good um all we got to do now is try it out i'm just going to clean this up i'm going to let them sit for a minute and uh give it a try I uh, mostly cleaned up at this point, so I just wanna come down and check out the water because I've been s sort of in my van this whole time. I haven't, you know, appreciated the scenery around here. It's dark out, so I'll try to get this a little bit. How you doing? All right, all right. Good, thanks. Oh, wow. Check out the moon too, man, this is awesome. Man, the camera just does not do that justice, you guys, at all. At all, at all, at all. The moon is looking amazing. It's not quite full, but it, it just looks, it's like, and then you said October moon, it's just really good. <laughs> and that sunset back there, it just looks like it's amazing too. I really love it when the water's calm like this and this summer has been such a good summer for getting this calm water. Like it's just been awesome. And when I was down fishing for these salmon, it was like this most of the time as well, which was really nice. But anyway, let's go try this caviar out. Gotta see how this how this all turned out after all that effort. It took me only half the day to do it all, but we'll see. And I guess now it makes sense why that stuff is as expensive as it is, and now it's not expensive to me anymore. I'm like, oh, $25 for that little tin? I'm like, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Turn some lights on in here. This is kind of that time of night where it's there's people walking by and I need the light in the inside of my van to see what I'm doing. And uh, cause I got all these windows in here, I can't see the people looking inside but they can see me. It's like a big fish tank really. So, I'll do that. So I was uh, reading a little bit on another recipe and it said to add a little bit of oil to it. It didn't say why but, it kind of makes sense to me thinking that this stuff is going to be kind of sticky and it's going to want to stick to itself a little bit. So a little bit of oil kind of makes a little bit of sense to me. But this is all nicely packed into this jar at this point so I'd have to take it out, put it into something else and do it. So what I might do is I'll try a spoonful of it like this and then I'll put a little bit of oil in another spoonful and try that. I got some uh, crackers for this occasion. Uh, these are just salt and olive oil crackers. I've never tried this kind before but they looked kind of good. 
Um, I might just go all fat here and have some grass fed butter on the crackers and with a little spoonful of this I do have some cheese But I was kind of already into this today And I don't want to eat too much cheese in one day because you know what happens when you do that um, And I did have, I do have a sprig of rosemary. I don't know if that's gonna go with any of this, but um, that was something I just picked off of a rosemary bush at my aunt's place um, I've got a couple drinks this one is really special because this is from a friend of mine that's in Squamish. Uh, she's got this company, Water Kefir, and uh, this is my favorite flavor. Uh, so I might have that. I think I'm gonna have that with the caviar. Save this thing for later. This is, uh, I don't know who makes this, but I like this stuff. Um, it's, a, it's also a really nice drink. There's no sugar at all in this, no alcohol. It's just a nice uh, herbal beverage. It smells like caviar, guys. I mean, it smells okay. I'm gonna give it a go. There it is. That is the stuff right there. pretty good um, I definitely wouldn't want to go saltier than that that was three minutes with that recipe um, I feel like that's kind of like as salty as I'd ever want it probably do a little less salt on it actually I'd say it's a bit on the salty side with that recipe other than that there's nothing wrong with it it's actually pretty good Wow. It's really crunchy too. Little eggs themselves. The skin on them is quite, you know, quite stout, I would say. So it takes quite a bit of effort to uh, pop that. So I think maybe it might have something to do with the, where the eggs are in their stage of development. Uh, so maybe when people are making professional caviar, they might be trying to harvest the fish at a certain stage of its life when it goes into the river like that. And then um, they can get perhaps something that's, you know, I don't know, the product has just, you know, got a certain texture to it. But I don't know, this is coho caviar. The caviar that I've had in uh, sushi restaurants, that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. Um, it's quite similar to that. This is just, uh, yeah, a little firmer, but it's, uh, it tastes exactly the same. And, uh, it's, it's maybe just a little bit saltier than what I, what I've had in a, in a sushi restaurant. So if I did the recipe again, I would do, uh, just a little less time in the salt bath and then, uh, I think that'd be fine. But overall, that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to share this. I'm going to have some on these crackers um, and I think that's, that's gonna be good and it's not like I was a little bit concerned that it was gonna be maybe a little bit fishy or something like that but that's not the case at all um, just because it was in the in the fridge for a few days before I did anything to it but uh, well, that's kind of cute little little lunch packs crackers uh, maybe okay for lunches, but a little bit excessive on the packaging, I guess. Maybe I won't buy it again because of that, because that's just throwaway plastic. So, um, I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on my crackers. Let me show you. We're just going with grass fed butter and, um, and maybe a bit of this rosemary. I'll try that. So this is uh, this is probably I don't know, I want to say like just you know butter and caviar on a cracker. Here we go.
Man, and this is the freshest caviar I've ever had. This is, this is amazing. Uh, I'll do a little bit of rosemary. Let's grab a, let's grab a couple of those. That'll be, that'll be plenty. Still gotta sharpen my knife guys. I'll do that in another video. But uh there we go. Just a just a little bit there. Just like that. Isn't that nice? Salmon caviar on a cracker with butter in a van. Oh wow. That's really good, man. Holy cow, man. What a treat. Huh. The little bit of butter on there is like, mm. These gotta be the perfect crackers for this too. It's like a little soup cracker almost. Just a fancier version of it. Okay, I'm going for I'm going for a couple more here. These things are so good. Mm. You know, it took time to do this, but this is a delicacy. This is such an honor to have this. It's like that way to have the salmon and have it like this and have the roe is great and I got some fillets in my fridge I put some other ones in my cousin's freezer um, so I'm gonna be picking those up later on but like that guys that is amazing Whew. Oh my God. That is so good. That is so incredibly good. Huh. Cheers. <laughs> Damn, that's so good. <sighs> I totally want to go back there and catch another female fish. <laughs> I like to catch some male fish down there too, but I would like to go back and do that again. This would make such a good gift too. I'm gonna put these in little jars and give it to people. Oh my God. Like that's a lot for me to go through. Apparently I can keep this in my fridge for up to 20 days according to that recipe. So I guess the salt cure helps to do that. But and I can go through that in 20 days. Believe me, I can definitely go through that in 20 days. Okay, this, this time I'm just having it with the cheese. I'm gonna put, put a little bit on there with that. And uh, I got a little I'm not gonna put the rosemary on this cheese has got a few spices in it, but mm. No <clears throat> It doesn't work with the cheese the cheese has got its own cheesy flavor and it doesn't work well with that the butter is fine <clears throat> and um, It probably go really well on like a little piece of bread or something like that as well. And today was supposed to be my zero carb day, but uh, well, I, I, uh, this is worth it. It's so worth it. Fresh caught coho salmon roe. I am so glad I did this. Cheers.
うんなんホーリースモークスマンマンです、そうだ I wish I could just put it through the camera guys and you could, you could try it out Some of you might totally put off by this kind of thing with caviar and stuff especially maybe having seen the process and me going through to make it but um this is definitely a delicacy like this is really really nice hmm. any of you guys out there catching some of these fish yourselves and you're wondering about the fish row I'm telling you, don't throw that stuff away. This is amazing. I'm gonna share this recipe down below. Kudos to the person who shared and made this recipe out there. I don't know who you are, but anyway, links down below. Thank you so much. This was really good. Um, I'm gonna put this in my fridge and save the rest of it for later. Um, actually, I got one more cracker, but I'm gonna have this one off video and just sort of relax and wind down for the night. And guys, I'm gonna wrap things up right here. I thought maybe I'd do my headlight assembly change out in this video, but I think I'm just gonna save that for the next one. Yeah, man. Fresh made caviar in the van is damn good. Damn good. Hmm. How you doing? Alright, alright. Good, thanks. Yeah. Got you guys doing the, the whole tracer through the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> That'll make the picture. Yeah. <laughs>